Hundreds of cannabis plants and thousands in cash has been seized after a routine traffic stop led to major drug busts. Police found two rental homes converted into grow houses. They say it's part of a big operation that's catching out unsuspecting landlords. A Rivervale rental transformed into a sophisticated grow house. Industrial cultivating equipment and 60 young plants were found here on St Kilda Road. Drugs could even be seen from the street. But nobody called police. Neighbours thought the property was vacant. We had absolutely no clue. Um, we never really saw anybody there. We saw people come around, but we thought they were just the owners checking up on the house. It's really quiet. You know, they took care of the lawn and everything, so real big shock. Detectives say this is just a fraction of what they've discovered. They now believe a large drug syndicate is at work and they've started to crack it. It originated from Canada and has operated in Melbourne too. The breakthrough came when police stopped a car here on Tranmore Turn in Canningvale last night. Inside they found $50,000 along with two men, one who was wanted in Victoria, a woman and an 18-month-old toddler. That led officers to a property in Osborne Park. The entire building had been converted to a grow house with 160 plants seized. Four adults have been arrested. The young girl is now in the hands of child protection. Police believe the syndicate is responsible for over 20 grow houses discovered in Perth's South East alone. Most properties are rentals where the power had been bypassed. Police say the homeowners may not have known what was going on. It's estimated Western Power has lost at least $1.3 million. Alice Pooley, Nine News.